Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. <clears throat> in boxing, you find a way to win and find a way to lose. But in basketball, if you find yourself in the, anywhere near the 7 foot 4 19 year old, you will get webbing yammered. And I am not joking. This guy is out here confusing teams in the NBA. They freeze up. Their offense freezes up. Their defense doesn't know what to do with him because he he's in places, right, when he's on defense, and even when he's on offense, to where on defense he shouldn't be able to get to the to the ball, to, to block the ball, or to get steals. But he's so long that no one on the court is safe when he's playing defense. Conversely, when he's on offense, He's in places to where he should not be able to get to the rim. But he has an eight-foot-long wingspan. <laughs> this guy is, like, near the free throw line <clears throat> and just turns, jumps, and reaches over the defenders and dunking the ball to where defenders, after they get dunked on, are looking at the referees, the camera, and the crowd like, what just happened? Well, I'm going to tell you what's happening. They're getting Webb and Yamad. And this number one overall pick uh, from the 2023 NBA draft, this guy's coming out here in a quarter, I mean, in a half, in a half, averaging 19 to 25 points. Crazy. Four to six rebounds. Four to six blocks. You know what I'm saying? Shooting at least 50%. That is crazy. And when I say shoot, I'm talking about from the three-point line too. <clears throat> and what's so like shocking about him, which we've all known, but to actually see it, right, is he showcases ball, I mean, extreme and extremely impressive ball handling ability and capabilities. And his ability to finish at seven foot four. They say this man stands about 12 feet tall when his hands are extended in the air. That's not even jumping. That's just from toe to fingertips. Absolutely crazy. But I tell you what, you don't want to be nowhere near this man on a fast break. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be nowhere near him because he picks up that ball from behind the free throw line and his stride is so long, his two steps gets him right there to the rim. And you know who else used to impress me with that was... Uh, uh, Giannis at, at Tim Kempo. Just absolutely like freaks, man. Freaks. When you see them out there, it's 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 just very impressive, man. You know, just the offensive and defensive uh, uh, repertoire and the uh, imposing presence. Absolutely amazing. But for those of you who don't know who Webb and Yama is, y'all need to start following this guy, man. If you don't like basketball, I get it. But I think you'll develop a, a, an interest in the sport, especially when you see this guy play basketball. Seven foot four, eight inch wingspan. He can play the center. He can play any position on the court. At his height, this man shouldn't be even thinking about dribbling no ball. He dribbles the ball better than the point guards. He shoots better than the point guards. He's playing down low as a big man. He's playing down low better than most of these guys. He's still got to put some weight on, but it's, I mean, I don't know how much weight he can get on. My understanding is since he signed with the uh, Spurs, he's put on like 15 pounds. So, you know, just the, the training regimen, the, the diet, it's working out for him. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, this guy is a freak, man. And I say that in a good way. And anyone who gets close to him on that basketball court, you're going to get Webb and Yamad. And if you just happen to run into him out here in San Antonio, you're going to probably be web, web and yammered because you'll be overwhelmed with just his height. Uh, the fact that he's so young, he's so mature, and he just a, a overall seems to be a good young man. But as far as basketball, sky's the limit for him. I just hope they don't uh, put a Dennis Rodman type personality on him to D him up because they're probably, they're probably going to hear this man start cussing in French on the, on the basketball court because right now uh, he doesn't seem to have really met somebody that's going to bang him up real good. <laughs> but once he comes across that person, 
I'm sure Webin Yama is going to get pissed off and start cussing in French. But that being said, uh, Webin Yama is an amazing specimen of an athlete. Seems to be an amazing human being. Young man has so much upside to him. Let's just sit back and see just how special he is. But I'm telling you right now, these guys in the NBA, these teams are confused. They got this guy on the court and they don't know what to do. The second, uh, the overthinking, the shooting, the overthinking, the dribbling. Guys don't want to cut and set picks. Nobody wants to go on the inside. It's crazy to see teams just fall apart because they know, because of that presence that Webb and Yama brings, man. Absolutely hilarious. But anyway. Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. I'm going to keep checking out Victor and watching him webbing Yama people. I'm in the breeze.